Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the pump and flash effect. Um, I did this in my first OCE. I'll go ahead and play that clip now. <laughs> So, as you saw in that, um, you can they had that pump and flash effect. This is actually a really simple effect. I'm going to show you how to do it in Sony Vegas, and if I get enough people wanting to do it in After Effects, I can do a tutorial in After Effects. It's not that difficult either. Um, okay, so, first thing we want to do, like a new, uh, no. Um, I'm just gonna do uh, 720p, 30 frames a second. That's uh, that's good. Okay, and we'll just import. I'm gonna do it with Jake's intro that I made because it's the same exact song. Um, and if you need to zoom in, just use your scroll wheel so you can see the audio wave. Um, and as you can see, you can see the beats, but I'll go. Ahead. Um, so I may not do a flash on this, but I'm gonna, for the sake of the video, I will. But um, I'm probably gonna take the flash off after afterwards. But yeah, I'll go ahead and play the intro fully for you so you can see the. Whole Okay, so now that this is over with, um, let's go ahead and get that right there. Okay, so now you have all the beats. Um, I don't know if I want to do it anywhere else, but right, like right where every single beat is, as you can see here, you want to hit M so you mark it. So this is gonna be simple. So. Like you, I'm gonna put it like right there. M, put it right about. It doesn't really need to be too perfect. There, M, M. You can kind of listen for it. Ooh, that no, that was kind of off. I don't. Um, like I said, it doesn't need perfect, but I just like to make it perfect because I. Okay, so there we go. I don't think I'll need twelve, but I'm gonna do it just to keep like eleven as a clip. Um, one thing when you're doing this, you want to make sure the marker is kind of at the beginning of the beat. I'm gonna move that one over just a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now what you want to do is you just click on number one, your number one marker, and hit S on your keyboard. Or you can go down here and hit, uh, where is it? I don't know why I can't find it, so just hit S on your keyboard. I thought it was down here, maybe it's not. Oh well. S, click 2, number 2, S, 3, S, 4, S, 5, S, 6, S, 7, S, 8, S, 9, S, 10, S, 11, S, 12, S. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on uh, like about the middle of the first section first clip whatever you want to call it and you want to go to video event pan slash crop and right on this beginning you want it to zoomed in just a little um, if this is like a call of duty clip don't move it around I might move it around no I'll just keep it um so we'll go in about that much you can see if I move this you can kinda see how it's look, gonna look like a little bit better. Like if I went that far, it's just blurry. Well, I kind of have a blur effect on it, anyways. 
But anyways, uh, we'll go... Uh, that looks fine. And then you want to go down here where your timeline is. Go ahead and go to the end. And then right click. And then hit restore. So that just puts it of how it was before. And that's basically a keyframe. So now if we look on this. It, you can't really tell it's one. But this is simple. Uh, copy. Now hold shift and go to the last one. So it selects all of them. Or you can hit control and individually select them. But if you hold shift and then click this last one it still works. And then just right click on any one of them and paste event attributes. So now here's what we have. So I think that looks pretty good. And for the video's sake I'm going to show you guys how to make how to do a little flash to this um, go ahead and go to your first clip and um, go to brightness and contrast let's make sure we're on our first clip and actually let's scroll in first clip brightness and contrast put that on the first one and what you want to do here is you want to just uh, turn the brightness up like not too much you don't need too much I'll do like 150 150 sounds good point 150 of course or point 0.15 um, and yeah now you, what you want to do is click this animate and go to the end and then just put this back to zero on the go to the end on the timeline just like you did on the pan so it's like th from the start it's bright and then from the end it's light so now here's what we got this isn't gonna look good on this but on a Call of Duty clip it should let's go ahead and get the loop going here actually I think I can go with a little bit more brightness so we'll bump this up uh, like, what would that would look like? Um, <laughs> um, I wouldn't use my exact number because, as you can see, this is a black background, so I'm gonna use a little bit more than you're probably gonna have to. And uh, yeah, but that works. And then copy, and then go to the end paste event attributes. So here we go. Now here's what we got. As you can see, it kind of flashes and pumps, gives you that seizure effect. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it, it, it really looks cool. Um, not necessarily for this intro. I'm going to delete the um, uh, this brightness effect for myself <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do this effect I might do it on some other parts of this if I do I'll go ahead and show you that later um, so yeah um, it, like I said if I do do that I'd probably won't um, I, I will just add the this intro to the end of the video but, um, hope you guys enjoy, and peace out. Till next time.